Hey guys, it's me Adele again and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be us recreating this look that I have on today. It's very dark but colourful at the same time, mysterious that like you just don't know. <laughs> it's inspired by BTS's Black Swan, like the cover of their single. So I took the different colours that are hidden within the single, so the number seven, and I've basically used all those colours together to bring this look together and I really quite like it. I was quite impressed with how it came like came out overall. So if you guys want to learn how to do this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Oh, okay, so first step I always have to do when doing eyeshadow is priming. So I'm going to be using the P. Louise Base in, let's see if it's got a shade. Rumour 05 because I'm quite fair and I quite like my eyes to pop and I really want the colours to be like out there and bright and focused so let's get to that. Okay, dokie so the first shade I'm going to go in with is this black in the corner of the 39A and then slowly adding in the dark blue over here yeah it looks like a black, but it, I promise you it's a blue, it's just this lighting. So let's hop into that. So next what we're going to do is we're going to kind of blend this out quite a bit just to make it not as quite dark because obviously the 7 has some light blues and some dark blues and that's what we really focus on is that light blue dark blue hue and what I'm going to go for is kind of like a halo eye type thing just because all the colours that it has within it you know. So next we are going to hop into the James Charles palette and we are going to take this light blue here and we are going to use that to kind of buff out the outer rims of this eye look because right now it looks very very bold So now we're at this point where everything's kind of like blended, everything's all blended out and it might not look like much of a masterpiece yet, but that's because we're still waiting for like certain elements to come together. But next what we're going to do is create the halo, so we're going to take um, our brush and shade out the halo and then obviously blend in the corners. So I've decided to go with a half cut crease instead of a halo just because. I like half cut creases, <laughs> so let's go. Okay, so now that we've cut the crease, we are going to look back at that photo. So if I look at the cover, I can see some like purples and some like greys in there. So what I was going to do is kind of do the dark blue, go into a purple to a really light blue again and then I've got like a purpley grey highlighter in the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit and I was going to use that like in the inner corner just kind of like pop that right in there and it'll be quite bright and cool so let's, let's really give that a So good. It looks really bad on this lighting, that's really annoying, like it looks really good in my mirror but for some reason this camera lighting is fucking shit. But now we've cut it on the purple, I'm going to go in with that silvery grey that I was talking about. 
talking about. I'm not going to show you my palette because it's like really broken. But if you look up, um, I'll put a photo here. So this is the dream palette. And I'm going to go for the like the silvery top one that's still got hues of purple. But then I'm also going to go for the one below it called Urethal because that's like got purple hues as well. So that'd be quite cool. So I'll do the purple one first and then I'll do Wish, like the silver one right on the inner corner. Just kind of like bring it all together. that has all kind of come together and stuff I am going to move on and quickly do the next eye off of camera and then I'll be right back alright there we go that is the eyes complete I actually really like the outcome of this so it's kind of like tying the pieces together because the two inner corner eye like colours are quite hard to you know integrate and fade together so I ended up using like the sparkle like dark purple shade from the James Charles palette to kind of fit in with like the dark purple so like it's that dark like normal purple shade then the sparkle shade and then the purpley shade from this and like the greyish colour in, in the centre what's really annoying me is that on camera they look completely different but like in real life they look exactly the same so don't worry if it doesn't look like mine. If you've done a better job of blending them than I have, then well fucking done, honey. But yes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do like the rest of our face, do some lashes, put up some highlighter and stuff, and we will see the end result. Okay, okay. So for the face, I always like to kind of like prime to make sure like that my face isn't gonna go like everywhere. So I'm gonna take some moisturizer because I've got really dry skin so I want to make sure my skin's all nice and moisturized and hydrated so another thing that I like to take while doing my primer is because I like I quite like oily skin so I take this like Korean illuminating serum and I like to just put it all around I could even pick some up put some on my face. I like to put little bits up and down my face and it kind of just gives you that extra inner glow. Okay so now that that has dried I am going to do 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 do, do. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a mixture of two foundations. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Beige and my 24 hour full coverage foundation by Maybelline in light beige and I'm going to be doing a mixture all over my face. Okay so now that that's all kind of blended together I'm going to do some contour so I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in shade light and this is the cream contour kit and I'm gonna take um well my usual contour colours and just dip away. So I also use this collection one just to kind of like give it a bit more colour because like these are quite deep and I blend that all together. So 
So, next what I'm going to do after blending out the contour is take my concealer. I use the Wet n Wild concealer. It is one of my favourites of all time for like blurring your pores out and like just making them appear a lot softer. So, my colour is fair beige, so I'm going to take that and do that underneath. I just cut everything out together and blend it all together nicely. Okay, so now that's all blended together, I'm going to take my RMCA no colour powder and just kind of set it all together to lock it in place. Okay, so next is like bronzer and like powder contour. So I use the Doll Beauty bronzer. I literally live by this now. This is like my favourite one of all. It's the Doll Gimme Sun bronzer and I'm in shade light. And as you can tell, I'm pretty much there. So I'm gonna dip into that, just my cheeks and my jaw. Yes, you can see the residue of my fake tan still coming off, but hey ho. So what I've gone ahead and done is just cut the contour like chisel my cheeks just cause like gotta look skinny somehow. <laughs> so we're gonna dive in with some highlighter. So I thought why not make it fitting and still use this dream palette to do with the whole illusion of what set the map of the Soul 7 is going to be like. Everyone is so like excited for it. So I thought why not? kind of use something that has very intricate colours and really cool colours and obviously we've kind of used the purple along the lids of the shade so I thought of mixing some of Sunshine which is like a gold with pink hues and then using um, Unicorn which is like pinky with like purpley hues as well so let's get it so like Jungkook would say let's get it So now what we're going to do before we do like lashes or anything like that is we're going to finish off underneath the eye and get it all smoked out and ready for lashes so let's hop right into it. So we're going to take the dark blue again and just fade it out in actually I'm going to do a mixture between the dark blue and the purple and kind of like fade it out like that. I think that'll be really cool. Let's get into it. Okay, so now we've finished the second eye, highlighter all done and dusted. We are going to decide between the Lord lashes, which are kind of like more of a wing style out, and Gloria from the doll lashes. So Gloria is more like a circle type lash, so it's full gold point is the whole lash. Whereas with a Lord, it's thin, kind of like in the middle, and it wings out to a longer lash on the outside. So. And then I'm going to go with Gloria just because it kind of fits like the whole eye shape of this look. And yeah, so give me a minute and I will be right back. So this is the finalised look. I kind of went with like the see-through top, kind of like what Jungkook was wearing on the Late Late Show when they first did their performance of Black Swan, aka their absolute amazing comeback. So I thought this fit is quite well with this look to kind of go with well, black swan, why not? Anyway, if you guys absolutely enjoyed this video and you think you'll follow this look for doing some examples for black swan for Map of the Soul tour coming up, 
then definitely follow this routine. If not, I will comment all the different eyeshadows and palettes and everything like that I used so you can kind of get a bit of a inspiration. Mind my friend, it's been a bit of a bitch. Okay, fringe sorted. So yes, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a lovely thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys have any other type of looks that you want me to do, do comment down below as well. Like if you want me to do any other albums, like inspirational looks, then just let me know. I also will be posting this like on Instagram, so make sure you hit that like button on there too, or double tap it if you're really that lazy. And yes, I shall see you guys on the next one. Bye!